Hello everyone, this is Dimitri from Not Just Games and have you also had this feeling after fixing a bug or creating some kind of new feature that you just don't want to create a build for each of the different platforms so you would need to create the Linux build, the Apple build, the whatever build and then you would need to go into the, each of the individual store places you would log into Steam, upload it there you would log into HIO, upload it there you would log into the Google Play Store, upload it there and it's just a hassle and you would rather just keep developing the game rather than have to go to the different places and deploy it and do the manual stuff. And for that, fortunately, CI/CD pipelines exist and these allow us to basically just commit the change and if everything is green, everything is running, then they automatically deploy the new versions to each of the individual store places and you can continue working on the game that you actually you know, want to improve rather than spending time logging into the different websites and stuff like that. So I spent a little bit of time researching what solutions exist and after a bit of research I found a very nice repository where they have already created a bunch of docker images you can use to build your project. But unfortunately the the examples that were provided there were not 100% working for me. The, the cause might be that I was working with uh, Godot 3.5.2, but fortunately I found the person who made the best Unity CI CD pipeline tutorial on YouTube on the Game CI Discord server and asked him for advice. He had already set up a project with C Sharp uh, Godot 3.5.2 and he was very kind to just share his repository with me. With this help, basically, I managed to make my setup working. As a little bit of a thank you here, I would like to shout out his channel, go subscribe to him, he has very cool stuff, especially if you want to like make a CI/CD pipeline from Unity maybe, then definitely use his videos because they are to the point perfect. So if you remember this one, you probably have seen our devlog series where we created this Flappy Bird clone. This is a very simple project, and yeah, this is what we're gonna enhance with automatic deployment. As you see right now, we don't have a Windows version here. So we're gonna set up a CI CD pipeline to create a Windows build and then automatically deploy that Windows build to this itch.io page. So this is Flappy Ghost repository. We're hosting it in GitLabs because we have a server running there in the background. It's very nice to have this self-hosted. You can also add CI/CD runners in your own home network and this is very great if you want to do this self-hosted. Of course you would also use just a GitLabs instance that's running in the cloud or something like that. And yeah, let's see now how to implement this GitLab CI YAML file. So first of all I'm gonna just add a dot GitLab minus CI dot jml file so create and we want to add this to it so next we want to declare which image we're going to be using and i ripped this off straight of the github repository that the person created so image is baricello slash godot ci and we are using the mono version because we want to use c sharp but if you don't want Mono, then you can leave this out. At the moment of this recording, there is no Mono 3.5.3 version in their Docker Hub image thing. So unfortunately, we have to stay on 3.5.2 for now. So next, we want to say which stages we will have in our build. So stages, and we can say export, because we're going to be first exporting a build from Godot. And then we're going to have a stage deploy so that we can publish to itch.io page for this tutorial. Of course, you could publish there to Steam as well and to any other place you want to. It's free, to, free for you to explore here what all of the options exist and where you want to deploy. So next, we're going to declare our variables and we're going to need three of them for this setup. We have export name. This is going to be the name of the exe we're going to export later. Then we have the itch.io username, and this is classified. And then we have the itch project name, 
which is gonna be Flappy Ghost for us. And you can find yours by just opening the game page you're gonna be posting to. And this is then the part that you want to use here. So for us it's Flappy Ghost, all small letters. So we just copy pasted this directly into this place. And the next step is gonna be to create a build for Windows. So I'm just copy pasting this part here. So we declare here the name, it's gonna be Windows. We're saying that it's the export stage and we run two scripts. For one, we are creating a build folder Windows. So make directory and build Windows. And then we use the Godot minus verbose to be able to get all of the logs. Minus minus export to create the export. And this is the name of the export template you have created already in Godot itself. So you see here Windows Desktop and if we open Godot here, we have a Windows Desktop preset, export preset, and its name is Windows Desktop. So this is going to be the settings that it's going to be used later when it's going to create the, um, the build. And make sure that this preset is also saved within your Git repository and pushed over there so that it can use it once it's going to start the build. And then we say which folder we're going to export to. So dot build so it's going to use this path here then windows and then it's going to do slash export name and this part is basically a reference to the variable that we're going to declare declare here so this export name then is going to be substituted with flappy ghost and then it's going to generate some artifacts and this is in the end the files that are going to be pushed later to the store that you're going to push to so here it's going to be just export name minus CI job name and the path is gonna be here and with this thing we are allowing then the next part of the job to reference the created files that have been put into this directory. So with the build already created then we can go to the deployment phase. So for here we have this name HIO Windows. This is gonna signal then that this part of the build is gonna be to deploy on itch.io the windows build so the stage is gonna be deploy and we just need one script to run here it's gonna be butler butler is the tool that is used by itch.io to automatically deploy games to their site and we're gonna say push we're gonna have the path here so the artifacts that are gonna be generated here in this path then they're gonna be used to deploy and we're going to be then passing here as arguments the itch.io user slash the itch project. And then we're going to declare here which platform we are targeting. So here we want to target the Windows platform again. This is for itch.io to know what kind of build you're deploying right now. So this is important. If you would want to push a web build, you would say here web. There are, I think, predefined, um, but don't quote me on that. Um, there's a lot of examples there you can find which version or what suffix here you need to declare specifically. And then we are adding a dependency for the windows here. So basically we say that in order for this here to run, the windows build needs to run. So if the windows build fails for some kind of reason, maybe there is some kind of build error or something like that, then it's not gonna go and automatically deploy all of the failed builds into your, you know, marketplaces whatever it's not gonna automatically just deploy everything it's gonna wait until this thing is finished and it's gonna be successfully finished and then and only then it's gonna push your build to itch.io so there's one more thing that we need to do before we hit commit so we mentioned butler earlier and if you want to push on itch.io then you will need first your butler api key and i'm gonna link this uh, page here it's on the itch.io website I'm gonna link it later in the description. You just need to log in once and it's gonna generate this Butler API key and you're gonna need to copy this. And once you have copied it, you're gonna go to settings, CI CD, you're gonna go to variables, expand, and you're gonna create a new variable here. So add variable, and then you're gonna add as the key Butler API key, and then the value you're gonna copy paste the your key that you generated with the butler tools already before so once you have made sure that the formatting of the yaml file is correct then you can go ahead write a 
Nice commit message. Please work this time. Yes, perfect. Commit and push. And let's go and check in the GitLab's page. And we already see the project is running. It's in the stages, so let's check the export stage. Now I went into this thing, so okay. So let's check the pipeline. It's running the windows. We can go here and check. Okay, job succeeded. We can see here what it did, how it loaded the resources and everything. And if there's some kind of bug possibly in the export, then um, we had the last time that uh, one of the resources was not getting imported correctly. So here you could possibly debug it then. And we can go to the deployment check. So let's see, preparing environment. And now we're gonna wait. Let me cut straight to the finished job. I don't even need to cut it because it's already job succeeded. And now we can go to itch.io page and see our results. So here we are in our itch.io page. And if we go down here, you can see now the download button and you can download it from here. If we check the edit game thing, now we should see here on the uploads, a Flappy Ghost Windows version or whatever your game is gonna be named. And with this Windows icon here, everything should be like that and it should have worked for you. And we have only a 28 megabyte sized file, which is nice. Okay, if you want to get a little bit more of the raw material and the initial person that created all of the Git uh, documentation and the uh, Docker images, then you can check Baricello, you can go to god.ci and you can check out this repository. It's now running also with god.4 and there's a lot of nice stuff here. For example, there is already an issue here created for Godot version 3.5.3 support. So it seems to be actively maintained and it's really nice because it saved me a lot of time of creating Docker images myself. So really check his repository out if you want to go into the deeper detail. And with that, I am very happy because now I have my CI CD pipelines running and we already set this up for Hate Me Not. And it's just so convenient to have to only click one button and then it's everywhere. Yeah. So thanks a lot for watching. Leave a like if you like this video. Um, and if you also are gonna create a CI CD pipeline, um, then also subscribe to get notified for future videos. Then here you're probably gonna be able to watch the devlog series. Here you're probably gonna get recommended a nice video that you're generally gonna like. And you can click, I think, here to subscribe. But yeah, do that please. Bye-bye.